welcome to my channel again, Torathina. This week has been so busy for me because it's been my birthday. It was my birthday on Tuesday and I went to the zoo and I got to look at elephants and penguins and it was the best day. And then I went for a meal yesterday with all my loved ones and close friends and it was brilliant. But I didn't have time to read the comics on Wednesday. This is why I'm uploading it a little bit later today because I've had to read and review and edit all in one day again. But it's been fun, it's been awesome, and I'm glad I did it. So let's get on with the reviewing. From Under Mountains by Image Comics. Old feuds and new monsters rise up to haunt the northern isolated fortress of Carsgate. Trapped princesses, assassinations, and mysterious proposals. This first issue has it all. Pros! It doesn't explain an awful lot of what's actually going on and who the people are and where they are, etc. But you still fly through the issue. The art is clean and nice and easily fits the setting it's meant to be about. Cons. I wish it hadn't left so many cliffhangers. The first issue almost reads like a trailer for the series and not the first episode of the series, if that makes sense. But overall, I really liked the pace and I would pick up the second issue just to see where it's going. Colder, Toss the Bones by Dark Horse Comics. Declan has gone from a mere human to a reluctant hero. As the monstrous creature Nimble Jack is flitting in between the real world and a dark reality known as the Hungry World, Nimble Jack is uniting enemies for only one purpose, to slaughter and consume Declan. Pros! It's one of the most twisted and weird and horrible and gory stories I have ever read. It's dark and attractively twisted. The art style is completely changing every other page and I loved it. Kinda reminds me of the Joker. Cons. Kinda reminds me of the Joker. He has a very similar hairstyle, he's very pasty, tall, thin and completely manic. Um, and although I like that, sometimes you do struggle reading this and forget it's not a DC comic, it's not Batman, it's not the Joker. This is apparently the third and final arc to this colder series and it's the only one I've started reading and although I was able to read it and know what's going on, this was one of the more difficult ones for me to pick up without reading previous stories. Overall, I love this comic and I really want to go back and read the previous story so I can continue reading this one. As much as I enjoyed all the other comics this week, this was an easy pick of the week and it's Bloodthirsty by Titan Comics. Haunted by the catastrophe that tore his town apart 10 years ago, Coast Guard veteran Virgil struggles daily with the hardships caused by Hurricane Katrina. But when the death of his younger brother leads to more underworld, ritualistic and seedy ongoings, Virgil becomes obsessed with getting to the bottom of it all and exposing the horrific secrets hiding beneath the Mississippi. Pros! It was an emotional roller coaster. I know every other week I've cried to a comic, but I mean, I cried to this comic. In the first 10 pages, I don't even think it's that many pages, it, it highlights some of the struggles that people would have gone through during Ho Hurricane Katrina, and it was just horrible. It was horrible to read. It was horrible even though it's a fictitious story, you know that actually did happen and what he goes through, probably other people definitely did. And it's horrible, it's really hard hitting, it made me cry. And then further stuff down the line made me cry. It's just, it's not a nice story, it's a good one, but it's not a feel good comic by any means. You truly feel for the protagonist. He, the way they introduce the character and then follow the story along, you've already have a lot of depth and history with him and so you're already rooting for him. The art, I love. It's clean, it's detailed, it looks slightly digitalized, which I kind of like, and it's incredibly warm, which is an interesting contrast for how cold the story is. I liked it. Cons. As much as I love the hard hitting struggle to deal with life story that this is, I'm not sure I'm completely sold on the evil slash cover up slash villain that we've kind of been introduced to so far. We don't know what's going on yet. That's what the story is about. We're going to find out what's happening in this town. But the glimpses that we have seen, it looks a little bit too weird for me to enjoy yet. But overall, I wanna to subscribe to this comic. It's amazing and I need to find out what's going on. You have to read it. Well, thanks for watching guys. It's been two, three weeks now since I've actually been able to upload one. So yeah, comic reviews are back. And remember that we were doing a comic giveaway last week? Well, 
Congratulations to Lara B. Edwards, who won last week's All Three Comics. I will get in touch with you via Twitter and we can arrange how you will get the comic. But this week I'm giving away Calder Toss the Bones away for completely free. You want to find out why I think he looks like the Joker and why I think it's one of the most twisted stories I've ever read? Go to Twitter, the link will be below to the specific tweet that I want you to retweet. Retweet it and you'll enter a lucky dip to win it. And I will announce the winner next week. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe and comment and all that jazz. It makes my day. It can even be my birthday present from you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.